At this point in earnings season, when the quarterly reports are coming fast and furious, it's impossible for the market to get everything right. So, look, this period is so chaotic that money managers are constantly making mistakes as they try to evaluate the results from dozens of companies at once. Plus, everyone wants to jump the gun, which is not conducive to good decision making. That's why I like to circle back to the earnings reports that I think the market got wrong. Because you can find some terrific opportunities by combing through the reject pile looking for stocks that were unfairly punished. I'll give you one that was unfairly punished. Take Danaher. Yeah, Danaher, the big life sciences and medical technology conglomerate that we own for our charitable trust. You can follow it in the charitable trust, our investing club. We like it so much that it is our third largest position, weighing in at 4.7% of the portfolio. We've been buying all the way down. I've been recommending Danaher for ages for the club because it's been such a tremendous long-term story. But it's also a stock that requires a ton of hand-holding, given that it's not exactly simple. It's a difficult story to learn. There's a lot of noise here, especially as the world goes back to normal post-pandemic. The thing about Danaher is it's frequently misunderstood, as it was this week. For example, yesterday the company reported a sizable sales and earnings beat really huge, while management also raised parts of their full-year forecast. Sounds fantastic, right? Yet the stock actually plunged more than 5%. Plunge. I mean, this was insane. This is the definition of insanity right here. They pl plunged because Wall Street didn't understand it. Some would say they didn't like it. I say they didn't understand it. I think the market's negative read on Tanner was a total mistake, a huge one. And I'm not just saying that because you own it for the charitable trust. I'm saying it because I've done the homework. And when you look under the hood, that sell-off doesn't make any sense. If anything, you should treat the pullback here as an, the essence of a buying opportunity. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.